Hello my dear friends, you're on the military summary channel and this short video we're going to talk about the short updates that took place during the previous night. And the first of all, let's start with Kiev. Uh, the Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation provided us more information, more details about the about the attack, dagger attack on the night of 16 of May of the local time. Uh, the Minister of Defense Shoigu reported that the daggers are flying so fast so that from the moment of the launching of dagger missile until the uh, when the rocket hits, it's highly unlikely and highly impossible that uh, that uh, Ukrainians were able to hide or redeploy their Patriot systems. So that's why uh, we see that his words confirms uh, confirms the our version that Ukrainians, uh, were, when we saw the massive launches of missile, were trying just to unload the ammunition of Patriots to avoid the massive destructions if the Russians were able to hit the Patriot systems with their dagger missiles. So this is about that. Furthermore, the Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation added that as a result of attack on the night of 16th of May of the local time, they managed to destroy five Patriot launch systems. So Patriot is not just like a Patriot, like one unit. It's a very complex system with mo a lot of different models and so on. And one of the models is the launch systems, launching systems. So that means that uh, those launching systems, five launching systems were destroyed as a result of that attack. Furthermore, the Russians and the Ukrainian source are saying that during the previous night, there were mass, there was massive missile attack all over the entire Ukraine. The explosions took place in Kharkiv, in Kyiv and the most massive and the most fierce explosions took place in Odessa. And the Ukrainians are saying that uh, the Odessa was an attack uh, of the Russian fleet navy, navy Navy fleet and uh, they were launching the Calibris missiles. For example, somewhere at 3 a.m., the Ukrainian sources published that there were around 10 to 95 aircraft. There were around four to 22 uh, aircrafts in the sky who were launching their own missiles and so on. And the most fierce explosions took place in Odessa. This night we started receiving the first video confirmation of that. So as we know, Odessa is the very important logistic hub. You see the explosions, the very big powerful explosions as you can see this is a is no this is a very important logistic hub in ukraine that ukrainians using uses for supplying their forces using the fleet and not just fleet there is also railroad ways that connects ukraine with romania the nato country and so on probably the ukrainians were able to accumulate some forces in this area and the russians as i understand were attacking the warehouses in mo depots of the ukrainians uh, that the ukrainians were planning to use uh, before, uh, during the greatest counter-offensive operation. Furthermore, as you can see, about these explosions and another interesting topic that Ukrainian sources are saying that after the destroying of the Patriot systems, the United States of America took a decision to stop using the Patriot system. At least they ordered the Ukrainians not to use the Patriot systems anymore on the territory of Ukraine until they complete the investigation. Because as you know, that was the according to, uh, if we know the information, if we have the all information, according to the official data, that was the first case in the story of the Patriot system when the system was destroyed by the missile so that's why the United States of America need to make a clear and co complete investigation and they need to find out whether that's the case of real attack and real explosion or there was like a spy work and the Ukrainians just sold information to the Russians about the dispositions of Patriots it's a very important question that the United States of America are planning and trying to investigate and resolve right now so currently as I understand as I understand Ukrainians Ukraine are not longer under protection of patriots at, at least until the end of investigation very interesting updates are coming of course as usually from Bachmann today this night uh, Prigozhin the head of Wagner's reported gave us his new updates about the situation on the ground he told us that during the previous uh, day the Wagner's managed to uh, cross uh, bypass another 260 meters and currently uh, 100.28 square meters uh, are under Ukrainian control 
yesterday the ukrainians controlled 1.46 square meters uh, square kilometers as you can see uh we as you can see the wagners are pushing advancing and furthermore this morning of the local time we start receiving more updates about the progress uh, confirmed progress on the ground for example the russians are saying that they managed to clear completely the uh, the area in the vicinity of the kid hospital this is like a uh, kid hospital furthermore the russians uh, managed to uh, there was a very fierce fighting in this area but the russians penetrated the ukrainian defense orders and captured this area and they reached the uvilena street and currently uh, the, the russians don't control just the area that located let's say behind like the, on the north between like chromova and the, the uh, northwestern uh, civil residential area so this is the only street this like lugova street that is still under ukraine control but probably uh, the russians have already captured this area we just we just don't have this type of update but from that as i understand the ukrainians continue stepping back inside of the valley of death and uh, uh, but the russian sources are saying that currently ukrainians are trying to step back and retreat to the south to the uh, square of mig 17 in this area uh, because this is the area where the ukrainians from the other side has some have some progress for example the russians are saying that as a result of of, uh, of a storm operation as i understand of fifth brigade of of 80s brigade of third storm brigade and so on the russians were forced to step back from this area and currently the russians control just the area uh, on the let's say on the trenches so as you know as you understand this is klishevka and currently the russians controls just the area of trenches and uh, on this bridgehead so probably uh, they took a decision to step back and took as minister of defense of russian federation reported the russians took a decision to step back and to establish their positions on more reliable um, foothold so probably this is the area that is under russian control and this is exactly the area where the russians are planning to meet the upcoming ukrainian forces attack forces so and that's it for this short update military summer channel reminds you to condemn any violence in ukraine thank you for watching subscribe to my channel put your likes join my patreon and have a good day bye bye